Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I say back because we have played it on stream a few times before, but today I feel with the new automation upgrade. Look, look it literally came out yesterday. I would have got to it yesterday, but you know, D&D &D got in the way. Uh, we're going to start a brand new game because, you know, it's a brand new thing. Uh, I literally don't know about the, the world seed, so let's go for that one there. Seems like a good idea. I don't know if there are any like well-placed world seeds out there yet. The, the only difference it seems to make, aside from like the distribution of the biomes is whether you get um what's the word i'm looking for geysers or not decent geysers or not everything else is going to go down as standard if you want that world seed do feel free to write it down uh, as you can see one two nine zero five three four nine double five Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds pretty good. Today's episode, or this, this series, is not going to be quite as intense as the last couple of series. We're not going to be around for every single second of this particular playthrough. I'm going to be doing it more like, oh, I'm going to do this, and then we'll come back with it done. Um, unless I run into problems. I am, of course, going to be recording the entire time, but we're going to jump around and do some, um, some interesting edits. Uh, first place that's going to happen is right here. Okay, yes indeed, we have Firmus, Piet, Orson Krennic, and Will of Tarkin. These are my guys living on La Nova de Mott. Uh, if you guys get what the subtle nod towards is there, do feel free to suggest some other people. Okay, so we know what the first plan is. Let, let's just slow this down here. First, have a quick look around, see what we've got. We've got some water up there, water down below. The first plan, of course, is we need toilets, we need beds, we need food. Uh, food's not too much of an issue right now, but we need toilets, we need beds. I think the first thing I'm going to do is dig down to this area area over here seems tasty we've got some granite over this side perhaps we'll do beds on the left and then everything that we're working with on the right or maybe we'll have beds on the right because of course carbon dioxide likes to drift to the bottom right here so maybe that's where we're gonna okay well, i'm gonna start digging i hope you guys are okay with that we're gonna go straight through like this and even even I'm going to start putting down a little set of stairs here so we can get down to this algae. Whilst not particularly important right now, it is going to be a very, very much so. It's our first sort of foray into making our own oxygen. Thankfully, this blue stuff here, for those of you that are not familiar with oxygen not included, this is called oxalite. This will just sit here and emit oxygen. Bam, which you can be seen with this um, into the air. Now, this sort of dark blue area, this is if we can highlight an area. You can see that it's only got like 450 grams of oxygen. That's barely breathable as compared to this 1,700 grams. That's 1.7 kilos of oxygen. Pretty breathable, right? Uh, another thing we've got to worry about for those of you that are not in the know, again, we've got carbon dioxide to worry about. In uh, Duplicates inhale oxygen, exhale carbon dioxide. And much like us in the real world, if we don't deal with that carbon dioxide, we end up with an Apollo 13 style situation where we're like, oh, now we've got to get these different filters out. I, I don't know if you can actually do that. Can we get different different filters? Well, you, you can get different filters. Uh, I'm just quickly changing up the priorities on here because I've noticed that they're not going to be able to get up to the top if I leave them doing things the way they want to be able to do it. So I'm going to go 8, 7, and just, just there we go. That, that should now get all this opened up in the correct order, or at least the way that I want it done. Correct is a bit, a bit, a bit subjective at this point in time. I I do dislike the way that you start digging some sand look, and it doesn't transfer down uh, the, the break, if you will, how much it has already been destroyed. It doesn't transfer down, which is a little unfortunate. We're about to have a big problem here, aren't we? Oh, no, it broke anyway, so that was good. That was good. Are, are they going to be able to make their way up? Up, guys, up. Why are you going down? Just go up. Um... Well, we've got metal and we've got algae. These are the main things that we're after here. Where are we going to put the beds? I said we were going to put them over this side. Um, so one of the things that we've got to worry about here, uh, it was, it's was it been a while since I've played, so I don't know how up-to-date you guys are, but there's germs to worry about now. Germs! They're horrible, nasty, nasty things that I don't really want anything to do with. So we're going to try and keep our uh, distance from that. I'm going to put down one, two toilets right over here. A little bit of room for processing the stuff that comes out of the toilets. Uh, at the same time, uh, we don't have refinement quite yet, do we? No, we don't, because we need to research stuff. We'll get onto the research stuff um, later. I would also look to put some tiles down. Just start and get in the, uh, the general idea of what this place feels like uh, maybe out like that let's put a, a ladder just here seems good right and then we can just start going down towards the water water of course are very important I'm gonna pop that down there and this pitcher pump now it used to be back in the day that you could just give your um, duplicates access to water and they would go and just make use of it nowadays you need this pitcher pump to go and put it into 
uh, in, into bottles for some reason. And now I'm wondering whether I can put it all the way down here. Like, can my duplicates use this? You can see the straw gets all the way to the bottom. I would, I would like to find out. This is an experimentation, guys. An experimentation. It should work out all alright. Oh, look. These guys are doing well. Here's some oxalite to push out some... Um, some some more breathable gases. Uh, as we can see, bit of a problem over here. But th this is something that we're going to deal with at some point. You can see we've got the ah, algae deoxygen needs at the moment. Oxidizer. That's that's the word I'm looking for. So this takes algae, this green stuff over here, processes it down and releases oxygen into the air. It's a good use of algae, but it's not the best use of algae. The best use of algae is this um, algae terrarium. It takes the carbon dioxide that we've got kicking around and turns it into oxygen, you know, like a plant does. So that's that's a pretty good idea right there. Now these first three, I think they're, they're all good buddies. We, we got Tarkin, Krennic, and Piet. They, they seem like the type of people that would definitely share a bunk room. Um, so let's do that. <laughs> they don't seem like people would share a bunk room at all. But we're going to do it anyway. And we're just going to do it like that. That seems good. I'm also going to go into medicine because I am terrified. Terrified of my people getting food poisoning. So I'm going to put... No, not, not that many. I'm going to put two down. But, what? That many? Just not in those positions. Wow, I seem to not be able to use a mouse today. And we're going to go ahead and just do all this. Is this a place where I'm going to make a cut? I don't know. Maybe. It's feeling pretty good. I don't know how uh, how on the, the cuts I need to be nowadays. I've just... You know, gonna gonna play it by ear. We're gonna make quite a large area for these guys to live in, so that we can do things like um, comfort and oxygen systems, and make everything feel really nice. We can get the decor out at some point. Oh look, there's there's the new box right there. We've not played with that. Where where's my decor? Is it furniture? Is this where stuff goes now? It is all in furniture. Okay, they've reworked that tab. That's that's cool. That is cool. That, in fact, that is really cool. Let's speed this up a little bit. And yeah, this is this is the point where I'm going to say uh, see you in a sec. Oh, we've got our first hatch. And you know what? I'm actually going to leave him hanging around in the bedroom. I know there's a lot of uh, copper around. I, I don't want him to eat. So we'll try and deal with that. In fact, I might just do that straight away. But hatches in a bedroom, very good idea because they actually increase the decor. If we come in here and have a look, I should have just left this rolling. Um, a decor of plus 10. Can't, I mean, that's that's good just for kicking around because this guy is walking around. Can't, can't really go too wrong with that. Now, one of the things I need to start thinking about, of course, is where our research station is going because without the research, we can't get things like farming on the way. And you know what? Whilst there are plenty of things like muckroot to eat right now, and I believe we've got some um, some field rations out here, nutrient bars, if you will, uh, we need to start making our own food because that, that's like first steps on your way to self-sufficiency. First you need food and then you need oxygen. Maybe the other way around, I'm not sure, but we will definitely work on that. Definitely needing these outhouses right now. I'm thinking maybe we'll have our... Uh Research station over here? That, that sounds good to me. Let's get this out. Research station just there. Uh, then, of course, we need somewhere where we're going to be making the power. Who's got the power? I would like to keep the power on this side, perhaps even down here somewhere, because I want to have these algae terrariums at the bottom of my base. I'm planning ahead just a little bit here, um, and I would like to have a manual generator above that. Maybe we want to put that here. Here, yeah, yeah, you know what? I think I've got it. I think I've got it. What I'm gonna do, in fact, is put down another ladder like this. Ooh, not, not, not quite like that, but mostly like this. Dig my way through there so these guys can get to it. Set this up to take all the raw metals, and then if you could, please, people, I would really. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set this to a nine. And it will take in the metals, and hopefully, people will go around and pick up metals in preference over picking up the rest of the stuff. That, that's my plan. That's my plan. I'm also gonna go down here and upgrade this because you know getting water on the go very very important for all sorts of things all sorts of things oh yeah look here they go they're doing it they're doing it okay right well once again i'm gonna disappear for a little bit while all these be all these details get made first night down and for those of you who weren't aware the reason i'm putting all my metal into this storage compactor is i don't want this hatch to eat it um because he will turn it irrevocably irreversibly into a piece of coal you can see this here um let's see if we can watch him do it that that would be pretty useful if he does i'm not sure how how hungry he is i mean how do we how do we find out oh he did a little fall does that mean he can't get back up there now oh he can little jump just a little jump is he hungry is he not i don't i don't know 
I don't know. Let's let's get a hold of him here. And that's a tile. Oxygen tile. Please hatch. There we go. D does it tell us how hungry he is anywhere? I really would like to know. It doesn't. That's that's a little bit of a shame. But hatches extreme solid coal as waste and may be uncovered by digging up buried objects. Well, that that's a thing that we know what happens. Uh, right. So one of the first things I want to do is set the uh, priority of these wash basins up pretty high. Oh, these guys really are just going to get all the coal first. So I will see you in the next couple of days probably because tidying up takes some time uh this actually also needs to be a nine let's uh yeah look people are complaining people are complaining i'm actually going to turn this down to an eight and like seriously oh they've started eating this is going to be bad outhouse nine go 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 uh, um, and then once it's built, I would like it to also be in. Right, there we go. Hopefully we can stop people uh, making a mess, is what they call it in this game. Uh, I quite like that terminology. We're going to call it making a mess. Now, one of the other things I want to do ooh, is build some more of these. We are missing raw, raw mineral. Ah, look, they did it. They did the thing that I was worried about. They did the thing that I was worried about. Okay, M9, let's mop all this up. Um, and then hopefully we can get enough wash basins down to deal with that. Uh, they're probably going to all catch food poisoning in this time. Ah, oh, what, what a terrible start. I really wanted to get this underway as fast as possible. So, top tip for anybody who needs it out there. First thing you should be doing is, of course, your toilets. If you don't have your toilets sorted, life, life is bad, you know. So, living space and toilet sorted, it's now time to think about where we're going to be doing... <laughs> oh, what? what's going on? It's now time to think about where we're going to be doing our science. Like I said, we're going to have this one here, and I think we are, in fact, going to have a ladder system here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, oh, once again, we are out of all oh, sandstone. That's okay, they will bring it along. But we're going to have a ladder system here, and then down here, I think, will be where we put the manual generator. In fact, for... Ooh, look, they've redone the wire texture that's that's very nice in fact i'm gonna do it right here this this is gonna place we'll have some batteries up here there'll be various forms of making power down below at the moment it's just going to be two types of manual generator i say two types two manual generators can we just dig all that out and then once again do a pe7 for the top uh six for the middle row and then that should get everything sorted hopefully at least in the order that i want the next uh, thing after power lights and science that's the word i'm looking for science is i need somewhere to put all this dirty water now, now it happened a little bit quicker than i was expecting because someone made a mess all over the floor um we, 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 i'm not even gonna go and find out who who particularly that was but someone made a mess over the floor so we now have to deal with the fact that there is dirty water everywhere and where are we gonna put that dirty water i think somewhere over here now i'm pressing f9 oh. F9, and I'm seeing there is some slime lung around here, and th these are things that I do have to worry about. But this sort of space here looks pretty good for holding holding a small tank of water. Now, the first thing I want to do, of course, is put this double wall in between them, because we don't want the two types of water mixing. Never, never, never. Uh, and then if I press F9 again, I kind of want to do this. Now, I'm not sure whether slime lung comes through this. I've been playing this game for a little while now during the outbreak. Um outbreak update and i've never seen it cross this barrier never not 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 slime lung anyway not slime lung perhaps we can find a a and material a material whichever word it is i'm looking for here uh to go through and fit to make it uh anti antibacterial is that a thing do we have antibacterial substances? That would be pretty cool if we could. But I'm going to do things like this. Okay, so once all that gets dug out, we can then put one of these bottle emptiers right here. And that should, should, big inverted commas with like hands in the air wavy stuff, uh, should make it so that that's where all the nasty water's going. And hopefully that'll keep it nice and contained. We're going to get through this water fairly quickly. Uh, because that, that's what happens in my life. Uh, every time that I get like some natural water supplies, it all goes bad. And now I'm just kind of having a look around in the fog, seeing if there are any geysers really close. Geysers? Geysers? They're geysers, aren't they? Um, and I don't see any. I don't see any. So we'll start digging over this way, and we'll start digging up as well, because these are directions that we have not really had a chance to have a good, proper, proper look. Oh, look, we can take a new person on. Oh, I didn't notice that happened. When did that happen? Uh, we are, of course, going to take that person on. I'm I mean, why would we not? And that will help us get on with science as well. Now, who looks like they're worth taking here? German resistant yokel, uncultured mouth breather, or a grease monkey with a bottomless stomach? I don't know. This guy's technical. That's always quite good. We've got digging and immunity, uh, construction tinkering. I think I want someone 
No, oh, none of them are fast. Okay, I, I kind of want someone who's going to mainly do the walking. But let's try and get this this guy anyway. Uh, and this guy is going to be Tian... Jajerod? I believe that's how that's pronounced. Uh, is that one... Oh, man, I can't believe... So, the, there is a small bug for this, and I'm not sure whether it's been reported or not, but I, I do have to go and report it if it's not. That sometimes the quick keys, yes, the quick keys override this whole typing process. I think it's 2Rs10. It might be the other way around, um, but we'll, we'll go with that. Tyrion Gerard. Okay, cool, nice. Got a new friend. Yeah, where's he going to sleep? I don't know. Let's let's just kind of cram him in here. Let, let's do that. We we can cram him in pretty tight. Like this this first this this is this is kind of temporary. This little holding place here. I'd like to make a whole selection of living quarters going upwards. Um, but for now, we'll make do with this. Let's put a nine in there so it actually gets like super high prioritized. Why isn't this? Oh, we are out of obsidian. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's pull these away and put some tiles down. And yeah, I'll, I'll bring you back when we've got some water rolling and some... Si oh, wait, we can do we can do the science now. Let's do the science right now. Uh, I'm going to leave a gap. Like so? Does that, does that look good to you? I mean, it looks good to me. Let me know what you guys do think about my arrangements here. Uh, actually, we're going to just go for the three, I think. Uh, let's get these wires on the go. Bam, bam. No, oh, no, we can't do that but just like this we'll work out wonders uh, like so and then do we want to take the power up out through there and ooh, come on work for me like that I, th I think that's kind of the best idea that we can go with here if I just also put down a little bit of a floor there people people will appreciate that I, I will appreciate that uh, and which way do we want to go left or right I'm gonna go on the right because you know tradition seems to dictate that we go closest to the the gate is, is that a thing closest to the gate I, I'm gonna say yes I'm going to say yes. Okay, so right now we've got our research station. I've also noticed that we are totally dug in here. So let's try and open that up. But in the research, let's have a look at this tech tree, shall we? Whoa, it's kind of expanded a bit. It has definitely expanded. I assume... Oh, look at this. What's this? Intermediate research point. And that was advanced technology to be used. Okay, that's the thing. I mean, that basically just equates to the same as getting the supercomputer oh look you can use the supercomputer also have a supercomputer uh, i don't know i'm not sure why they've broken that one down but fair enough the, the first one we're going to go for is basic farming so we can have algae terrariums compost planter boxes because food uh and the ration box I, I don't really need the ration box i think after that we're going to go for the interior decor or maybe even water i'm not sure which one we're going to do after that maybe even the advanced but I know where I'm going first because we need food. We need a farm up and running. And look at all this space over here. This looks good for farming. Uh, if I come into this one over here, so this is temperature overlay. Oh, look, people are going to get hot over here, but whatever. I don't mind. And the abyssalite stops here. This is, this is where the heat's creeping in from. Maybe we can put like a, an insulated barrier up at some point. But until that time, uh, we want to start thinking about sciencing. First, who's going to do the science? Let, let's let's stop for a second here. Research. We've got uh, Piet or... Kr Why isn't Krennic good? I would have thought Krennic would have been the man here. I'm, I'm going to make Krennic the man. We're going to send him to be a, be a learner. I mean, if Krennic can't come up with the technolo technologies, who can? Who can? Okay, this seems to be going exactly as um, anticipated, expected, and wanted. That's the main thing, it's going as wanted. Um, all the water is getting pushed back out, and that means we are getting a good double layer. Guys? Guys? A good double layer, please. There we go, good double layer. Once this water gets drained a little bit, I think this is probably going to be where my first set of algae terrariums are going to go. I think that's a good idea. I think that is. I also might just dig all this lot out of the top here. Yeah, that's cool. Um just realized that we're running out of oxygen this big open space let's put one of these down in the middle yeah brilliant um and put this down this way you can see we've got insufficient oxygen generation we made zero and we consumed 46 46 over four people let's uh, let's have a look at our reports shall we let's have a look at our reports yesterday how many people did we have that that's the real question oxygen generation can i not pull the tab down for that <coughs> excuse me I thought I would be able to. You can see that calories are being eaten by uh, Tarkin and Piet. I mean, they are the people that would go ahead and do that. Stress change. We've got some stresses. We've got some stress in the world. Well, this will disappear when we get the research underway. Um, not not just for the farm bits, though the farm bits are going to be very useful. But also we can start working on the interior decoration stuff. Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? 
That would be great. A uh, base ladder, I think, coming down. At, very important is this one. We've got to be able to get in and out of there at some point. Uh, there's another hatch. Someone has taken some damage from the hatch, but that's okay. No, no big problem. Town drops the sand. All right, I'm, I'm just describing what's going on here. I will be back when we've built ourselves a little bit of a farm. Or at least, no, yeah, yeah. When we've got the farm research, we'll talk about how we're going to build the farm over here. And it's one little deoxygenator trying its best to pump out enough oxygen. It, he will do it eventually, as long as these guys can keep um, keep on top of the oxygen demand. Uh, we're waiting for this guy to go ahead and make the stuff. He's only got four points left to go. So whilst that's ticking over, I think what I'm going to do is make ourselves a little storage room. Let's put that many down to begin with. Uh, and it's going to... Hmm, you... Do we want you here? Do we not? I'm going to leave you there for now. I know Tarkin's taken some damage, but I think we can live with that. That means we need to make a med bay at some point, which is something that we can't really make properly until we have done a little bit more research. But we can definitely get started. Right, so what I want to do in this first place, that guy's collecting metal, but you know what? I'm going to have everyone collecting metal, uh, this guy collecting all metals, all, min all minerals. Uh, cultivatable soil, yes, we're also going to have the dirt. I don't want to pick up any of the organics because they have other places they need to be. Seeds do not belong here either. Uh, agricultural could be, I could be convinced. Fertilizer could be uh, convinced. Same with filtration medium. And the consumable ore, I only want the coal because there is also oxalite and bleach stone and neither of those I want going into these places. So now that that is done, we've got this wonderful copy settings tool. So I can go across like that and suddenly they're they're all like super good there. Awesome. Aha, uh -huh, Harken. That is the thing that we want. Harken. Is that is that a word I use? Uh, so I'm going to go down and get the interior decoration for our next one. Whilst we get other people working on the farm. I think I'm going to separate it off like this. Get another set of ladders running up and down. Like that, yeah. And then over this side, let's start with a pneumatic door. Despite the fact that we're probably going to want to have this properly sealed off from the outside world. Right now, we'll just do it like so. On the inside side of course we're going to have a storage compactor for seeds and maybe fertilizer as well but we'll just leave that one uh, there i want to go up um mm, uh, see a little problem there no not, not the end of the world but i do see a little problem if i do this that should solve all of those problems that i just had hopefully maybe I don't know. Well, so let's go into the food and get these plant boxes out uh, now i have worked out doing some really rough maths including the microbe musher this guy here. I'm going to put him over over this side. Seems like a good place to put him. We will make a proper kitchen at some point, but to begin with, I need this just to balance the numbers out. Now, this guy will take some, uh, mm, what's it called? Mill lice? The same stuff that, let's see, this. What these drop. These are millwood plants. They drop mill lice after a little bit of time, uh, and they drop about 800 uh, calories. Now, these guys eat a lot of calories. They eat about 2,000 calories a day. But if you take this microbe musher, you can take 500 calories of the of the mill lice, put it together into a lice loaf, and it gives it an extra, look, 1,000 calories. That turns a 500 into a 1,500, which is just unbelievable. Who, who is our cook, though? Tarkin. Tarkin's our cook. That, that kind of makes me laugh, but there we go. If anybody knows the appropriate cook to use in this situation, let me know. But for now, Tarkin makes me laugh. Okay, so this is going well. Let's get down a little bit of millwood, even if it's just the first one. Uh, now, the reason that I start with millwood is that these requirements are by far, by far, far, far the least restrictive. Um, oh, and in comes night time. But I want to try to dig out this entire area I think so, something like that 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 seems pretty good to me we'll have a little bit of a ladder way going up here that, that wasn't quite what I wanted but it, it works it works uh, now this goes up to and then do we want to leave a space for ventilation one two this is how far the plant takes I think we do I think we do want to leave a little space for ventilation here same is going to be on this side though this is probably going to end up being an airlock leading it oh look at this oxalite swirl here Oh, that's, that's nice. That's very nice. Any guys up? Any guys up? Plants have died. How did this plant die? What's wrong? What? I disagree, sir. I disagree. I'm not sure what made that happen. I'm not sure what made that happen. Uh, let's pull these down here and just... P6 it, because this this is what we want. This, this is our life right now. We've got to get this food running, else, uh, it's, else it's death. Death, doom, and destruction. Ooh! 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 Have we actually got the... Uh, 
Interior decoration underway already. Furniture in here. Look at this. Not so much the, um, the sculpting block and the blank canvas, but we can do like lights. Does that, does that look about right? That looks about right. Okay, we'll get that going. Look, there's a shine bug. These things. Oh, I love them. I love them. They, they gravitate towards other lights, so that's pretty good. Uh, something else we can do. I haven't really talked about this room overlay much here. That's because I don't have many rooms. You can see we've got a room here. It's got no effect because it's a miscellaneous room up there. Anything and anything, you know, that, that's what falls into this one. But we have things like latrine, barracks, mess hall, and med bay that we can make. I want to make a latrine. You can see here we've got... We've got area for a latrine, so if I just put a door in place here, hopefully a door and a wall. Um, can we go a P9? Can can this happen? Is, is this just now going to get like totally done? Yeah, nine, nine, nine. Do we want to watch it in the overlay? I kind of wanted to watch it in the overlay. I want to watch this happen. Uh, do you guys want to watch it happen with me? Let me know down below whether you do like to watch these sorts of things. Uh, if not, I'll just like skip over it in one go and just be like, hey, look, I made a room. What's wrong with this room? Miscellaneous. Missing wash station. Ah, these things need to be inside. Inside? Okay, let's try and figure out another way of doing that then. Um, I'm, I'm glad that told me. What we'll do is we'll go down like that. I'm sure I'll end up putting a door in there. Uh, we'll also do this. I need to take that one out and replace it with uh, this one. Now, some of you might say this is a little bit overzealous on the wash basins. I kind of agree with you. And at the same time, I am in constant fear of my dupes getting food poisoning so i don't really want that uh p8 let's go with an eight bam i actually wanted these to stay on nines it's very important that these these um outbuildings get like emptied out as quick as possible every time ah actually we didn't need to do this let's go like that because i have something we could look look look, look, look. compost bin can go in the corner here like how good is that that's that's exactly what we want, right? Because um, then all the, the the muck and the debris outside that comes out of the outhouse goes straight into the compost bin, and it's all locked behind this wash basin. That's that's kind of the idea. Let's have a look at our um, our, our germs on the go. Oh, that's always good when we end up with um, germs on our water supply. How has this happened? How has this happened? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some zeros off of this for now. I don't. I do not recommend this. I do not recommend this as a as a permanent thing, but I want to I want to get rid of the germs on here, and the quickest way to do that is to ask these guys to disinfect it. Whilst we're going overnight, I think I might just quickly throw down some wires for this. We're gonna need a new power system over here, I think. We're gonna need a power system for water and toilets, and of course bedrooms and stuff like that. Oh, good. These guys going around doing the absolute best of getting rid of all the surface germs. That's good. I like this very much. But now that this has been done, we're going to have to start like turning it back up. Everybody's dirty. Can we get the wash basin? Is that a thing we can we can de dirt? Is hmm, I don't know. Fighting the germs, guys. Fighting the germs. It was a little unfortunate that someone was. Look at this. We got we got some there. Is this is this going to go down? No polluted oxygen. Why is there polluted oxygen there? What has happened? What has happened? Uh, we can also... Ooh, give me that. Get rid of those. And maybe even get rid of some of this. Let's see what happens when that happens. Uh, guys are eating. That's that's kind of cool. But at the same time, I would like you to get on with making food. You know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we've got very, very heavy oxygen in there. A very heavy atmosphere in here. Somewhere we're going to have to build another one of these... Just to keep the pressure up, maybe right there. Maybe where I was just indicating. That, that'll probably be a good idea. I'm just going to pop that down. We're not going to build it right yet or hook it up to the system right yet. I now need to figure out where we're going to put the terrarium because, look, carbon dioxide. Actually, that's not a not a worrying amount of carbon dioxide. I want to put one of these over here, uh, perhaps again with the lighting on the go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, this needs to get cleared out as quick as possible. Uh, you remember I was saying that this is not a permanent situation to be in. Um... I would like to make it not the permanent situation to be in. 8,000 germs. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Got to tidy up this place. Yes, indeed. I don't know if that's something I'm going to do straight away. Okay, this wants to be a continuous life life. It is actually set up like that. You're going to break that. That's cool. You're going to work from the bottom up? No? No, is that not what's going on here? It'd be good if it was. You're just going to dig all of that out now, aren't you? The um, sand doesn't show. 
Okay, we have ourselves a nice little dumping ground for water. I'm going to quickly get this lot um, swept up as quick as possible. Hopefully everybody... Uh, 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 well, everybody was going to come and do this, but we reached the end of day eight. Let's check a quick report because that's always important. Um... Oxygen making more than we are using, power making more than we are using, that's cool. Calorie generation is the big problem of our time. Oh yeah, it's looking good. It's looking very, very, very good. For those of you looking for tips, be careful when you put down a big job on um, Priority 9. Because right now, they can't go and get to the generators because the priority is too low, so I've stopped making oxygen. And therefore, it reckons I'm not making enough today. But I think we can make do with what we've got in here. You can see everything's like relatively light blue, so that should be fine to hold out for now. Also, if you're wondering why I'm taking the time to make sure this is all empty, this is about to get filled with nothing but polluted water, and that's going to be disgusting. Uh, so we're going to turn that off for now. I don't, I don't want people dropping it down until we get in there. Polluted water carries food poisoning with it, in case you were wondering on that. And I'm a little bit worried about transfer through here, so I'm also giving thought now to throwing down some extra walls here, and then knocking out the middle one so that we can keep an air gap in between and hopefully the air cap air gap will be enough uh, I, I can only hope at this point in time because i have not really experimented with this so we'll, we'll have to find out and that's what we're going to do a lot during this we're going to do a lot of experimentations to find out um maybe it'll be good maybe it'll be not if there are certain experiments you want me to check during this standard survival gameplay is that is that what it is i haven't got debug on so I'm, I'm gonna go with that if there is anything you would like me to check let me know oh look we've got another duplicate now i'm not gonna bring them in today um but if anybody has any ideas for who we should bring in and what we should call them keeping to the theme that i'm sure a few of you have picked up on let me know um who and what we'll call them stinky's looking pretty good Okay, I would like to make an entire thing for this, an entire room given over just to processing carbon dioxide. But I think for now, all I'm going to do is throw um, a little processing unit here, because this is the place where all the carbon dioxide is going to end up. It's going to fall through, down through here. It's either going to end up with this algae terrarium or with these algae terraria here. So we'll make sure these are all fit in place and be like, wow, what the what the building we have done today. Like many, many buildings have been done. We've got ourselves somewhere for dumping all our water. You know what? I'm going to turn that up to a nine. All our nasty water. We've got somewhere where we can get some nice water. We have got ourselves some hygiene in place, places for people to sleep, science underway, and of course, the food is totally done up here. So with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time when we're going to take care of things like the med bay getting our food upgraded thinking about other ways of making oxygen though that may actually be on the third episode but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye oh, also if you haven't figured out we're kind of stable right now <laughs>